In a world that is becoming more worried about the effects of climate change and the long-term health of the environment, the car industry is at a turning point. In answer to the rapid rise in popularity of electric vehicles as a cleaner and more environmentally friendly way to get around, many car companies have turned their attention to making electric cars. But Toyota, which was a pioneer in hybrid technology with the Prius, has taken a different path and introduced a revolutionary hydrogen combustion engine that could change the future of cars. Today, we are going to talk about the new hydrogen engine that will kill the electric vehicle market. How things are right now in the automotive industry? Before we get into the details of Toyota's revolutionary hydrogen combustion engine, let us take a look at how the car industry is doing right now. A lot of the carbon emissions in the world come from the transportation business, which is responsible for about 15% of all carbon emissions. It has been known for a long time that the wide use of standard internal combustion engines, which run on fossil fuels, is one of the things that has led to this environmental disaster. As a way to solve this problem, the automotive industry has made a big change toward electric vehicles, with electric vehicles at the forefront of this revolution. Electric cars are becoming more and more popular. Electric cars have gained a lot of popularity in recent years because they are better for the earth than cars that run on gasoline or diesel. The main selling point of these cars is that they use electricity as their main source of power, which means they do not release any exhaust. Electric cars are often talked about as a possible solution to problems like reducing air pollution, stopping climate change, and using less energy. EVs have become a sign of cutting-edge technology, speed, and care for the environment in large part because companies like Tesla have helped them become more popular. Major companies all over the world have also put a lot of money and time into making their lines of electric cars. At the same time, governments all over the world are making it easier for people to buy electric cars by giving them tax breaks and making pollution rules tougher. Toyota, on the other hand, just recently said something about their hydrogen combustion engine, which is a good alternative to electric cars. Hydrogen is a clean and plentiful source of energy. One of Toyota's most ambitious goals is to use hydrogen as a fuel source for the next version of its internal combustion engine. Hydrogen has the biggest amount of energy per unit mass of any non-nuclear power source. Also, it is the most common substance in the world. It has a number of important benefits that make it a good choice for the growth of clean energy solutions. First of all, Hydrogen is not dangerous and does not make any harmful byproducts. When used as a fuel, it only gives off water vapor as a waste product. This means that it does not produce any dangerous pollutants. This is in line with the overall move toward cleaner and better for the environment ways to get around. There are also many ways to make hydrogen, such as through electrolysis and steam methane reforming because it can be made with renewable energy, making hydrogen for cars has a small impact on the world. The ability to store hydrogen indefinitely and move it around with relative ease gives freedom to both distribution and supply. What does it do? To fully understand how important Toyota's hydrogen combustion engine is, you need to know how it works. All hydrogen-powered cars, including Toyota's groundbreaking success in the field, run on fuel cells. In a fuel cell, the only thing that comes out of the electrochemical process that takes place is water vapor. Electrochemical machines called fuel cells turn hydrogen and oxygen into energy. People have said that the method works like magic, but in reality, it is based on good science. The hydrogen gas goes into the fuel cell at the anode where it goes through a process that makes it split into protons and electrons. These protons move to the cathode through an electrolyte membrane, while the electrons follow an external circuit to make an electric current that can power an electric motor. This method is very different from traditional internal combustion engines, which run on fossil fuels and release harmful pollution like carbon dioxide, 
nitrogen oxides, and particulate matter when they burn. This method is very different from traditional internal combustion engines because it is both beautiful and clean. How responsible Toyota is for the environment? Before introducing the hydrogen combustion engine, Toyota had already shown that it cared about the environment and was working on ways to get around that were better for the environment. When the Toyota Prius came out in 1997, it was the first mass-produced hybrid car in the world. This was a big step forward for the company. The Toyota Prius became a sign of the company's efforts to make cars less polluting and use less gas. Even so, Toyota's efforts to reduce its effect on the environment go far beyond hybrid technology. The group has looked into many different kinds of alternative energy sources, like solar energy, electric power, and hydrogen, among others. Toyota's main idea is that there is no one way to solve the problem of reducing pollution from cars and meeting the different transportation needs of people and towns around the world. The Technology of H2 The H2 technology, which stands for internal combustion engines powered by hydrogen, is Toyota's most recent step forward in making cars that are better for the Earth. In H2 technology, hydrogen is the main fuel source, this is different from most internal combustion engines, which use gasoline or diesel as their main fuel source. The groundbreaking prototype of the GR Corolla H2 is one of the best ways to see how Toyota sees a hydrogen-powered future. This model does a good job of combining the benefits of traditional engines with those of hydrogen technology. This car has a three-cylinder, 1.6-liter engine with a blower, but it does not use gasoline. Instead, it runs on hydrogen. How strong and useful are engines that run on hydrogen are? Toyota's hydrogen-powered cars have a number of big benefits that set them apart from both electric cars and cars with regular engines. Their range and how quickly they can refuel are both things that stand out. The GR Corolla H2 can go up to 300 miles on just 5 kilograms of hydrogen, and it only takes 90 seconds to fill up, which is about the same amount of time it takes to fill a regular gas tank. Also, hydrogen engines use less rare materials like lithium and nickel, which are both important parts of the batteries that power electric cars. This not only makes the production process less harmful to the environment but also makes it less likely that these materials will not be available or will not work in the long run. Concerns about the safety of the people and the safety of the environment. Safety should be the most important thing when working with hydrogen, which is a highly flammable gas. Toyota has put in place a number of strict safety measures for hydrogen-powered cars to make sure they are safe. Even though burning hydrogen does release some gases that are bad for the environment, the amount of these gases is much smaller than what is released by cars that use gasoline. This fits with the overall goal of cutting down on harmful pollution and making the air we breathe better. How cars that run on hydrogen might change in the future? The Japanese government has shown a lot of support for hydrogen-powered transportation and Toyota has already started trying hydrogen-powered cars in the real world. Their lofty goals include getting 200,000 fuel cell-powered cars on the road by 2025 and 800,000 by 2030. They also want to make plans to increase the number of refueling points all over the country. Toyota's new hydrogen combustion engine is a big change from the trend toward electric cars that has been going on for a while. This new idea is a bold step forward. Toyota's finding could be a big deal for the auto industry, even if the switch to hydrogen-powered cars could take a while and be hard in many ways. It gives an answer to the problem of carbon emissions and how they hurt the environment that is less polluting, more effective, and better for the environment as a whole. What do you think of our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from me again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Thanks for watching.